You know, the carnivore diet community promotes bacon because bacon is, you know, low, low carb and it's high in fats. Um, they also have a lot of nitrates too, bacon, just like beets. But the question is, does the nitrates in bacon help your blood flow and promote blood flow the same way that nitrates in the beets do? Bacon. Bacon and other processed meats contain synthetic nitrates and nitrites, which are added as preservatives. Although nitrates in bacon and nitrates in beets, beetroot, are technically the same molecule, the way they affect your body is very, very different. You see, when you cook them in high heat, right, bacon, like frying, most people fry bacon, then they form nitrosinamines, which are linked to cancer, including prostate cancer. Sodium nitrite, that's the chemical name, sodium nitrite, N-A-N-O-2. That's the more commonly used compound in, in modern bacon, right? In old days, you can get, you get bacon, no additives in there. So this, this stuff reacts with meat when you're cooking it at high temperatures. And that's going to form what I mentioned before, the nitro, nitrosinamines. I'm probably saying that wrong. That's the carcinogenic compounds. Carcinogenic, you know, of course, relates to cancer. So WHO, uh, World Health Organization, and other major health organizations link regular intake of processed meats to increased cancer risk, including, you know, prostate cancer. On the other hand, beets and leafy greens, like, you know, arugula, et cetera, uh, contain natural nitrates, and your body converts that nitrate into nitric oxide, uh, a molecule that improves blood flow, you know, makes your blood vessels more elastic and flexible, and it even supports testosterone and erectile health, of course. Anything that promotes better blood flow is going to help your erectile health. Plus, beets have antioxidants, fiber, and other things that's going to protect your, your body as well. And you know, bacon is high in omega-6 fatty acids and saturated fats. And while the saturated fats aren't the villain, it's the balance that really matters. And most bacon comes from pigs, right, that are raised on, you know, grain-heavy inflammatory diets. That's going to lead to an imbalanced fatty acid profile, which you're going to consume, right? Uh, and so the bottom line is science says bacon is not a hormone or a prostate supportive food when eaten frequently. You really shouldn't be eating much bacon at all anyway in its processed form. If you're going to raise your own pigs and feed them a healthy diet and then create your own bacon, Okay, then yeah, you can do maybe more of it, but that's not most people, right? Follow for more real men's health tips backed by science. Keep the bacon to a minimal and let's get healthy.